What is going on, people? You know who it is. It's your boy Tolix96, guys. As you can see on the screen here, we have the Stanley Cup Finals prediction here. Uh, this is the finals between the Chicago Blackhawks, the Pests from the West, the Beast from the East, Boston Bruins, squaring off tonight in Boston, or no, in Chicago, actually, for game number one of the Stanley Cup Finals. Only, uh, only on TSN 2, 3, 4, and 5, you know me. So, uh, with that being said, guys, I'm going to give you guys a prediction, a pro prediction. Just kidding about that, but I'm going to give you guys a little rundown prediction of what I think is going to be the result of the Stanley Cup Finals here. Um, Boston, after that tough, well, it wasn't honestly, all right, people are going to be, all right, Leafs fans especially, Leafs fans think that, oh, since we took Boston to seven, Boston killed New York, Boston swept Pittsburgh, Toronto should have bas Toronto could have won the cup basically, and I have to disagree with that statement. Some Leafs fans, of course, will um, be mad at me for saying this, but if you if you guys saw the way the Bruins played against the Pittsburgh Penguins and against the Rangers, they did not play. They didn't play the same in that Toronto series. They they were unmotivated. They couldn't score. They couldn't play solid defense. They weren't physical, and that's why they almost lost that series against Toronto. And see, after that game seven, when they really lit it up in the, la the, ba the like the last ten minutes of that of that third period, that's when it, that's when it rolled. They four one New York, four nothing Pittsburgh. They played strong defense, physical hockey. Got they got a few goals on the board. It was enough to keep it in. Their defense held them. Tuka Rask played phenomenal, and you know they had a good, they had a good run except for that first round. Um, now San uh. What's it called? Um, cl uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like dulling out here. Um, Chicago, on the other hand, kind of sort of had the same kind of thing happen um, to them. Actually, they actually did have the same thing happen to them, basically. So they um, they faced in the first round, they faced Minnesota. And I believe they beat Minnesota 4-1. I think that was what it was, 4-1 or 4-0. Uh, Easy first round for them. They outplayed them. Then again, Minnesota only had their backup goalie uh, and their third string goalie. Actually, he played one game. But basically, their first round was pretty easy for them. Their second round was their challenge, really. The second round they faced Detroit. They were down three one in the series. They came back to win it all, and I believe that's a turning point. That's when they got the motivation. Faced LA. Uh, I think they beat LA four one. I'm gonna go check that out. Um, it was 4-1 or 4-2, I, I don't remember. But anyways, they basically steamrolled through as well. They've had a really solid playoff. Um, both teams have been really playing well. They, both teams equally played well in the conference finals. So they're both on a kind of a roll right now. They're coming into the, the Stanley Cup. Both have motivation. Uh, Chicago does have the home ice advantage here. But honestly, if Boston could come into game one and uh, come out with a nice win here. They got the series, guys, honestly. Boston just playing a much. Boston has had a lot of tougher competition than what Chicago has personally. Pittsburgh is a tough team to beat, and they shut Pittsburgh down. They let Crosby score a goal. He's the best player in hockey right now. They shut down Crosby. They shut down Malkin. They shut down Neal. They shut down Latang. They shut down all those players on Pittsburgh. And then the same goes for New York. They shut down Nash. They shut down Richards. They shut down all those guys. I mean. What did, what did Chicago really have? L.A., I mean, come on, L.A. Had, L.A. did not play the way they played when they won the Cup. They really did not have what... They, they were playing really weak in that overtime period, too. Chicago couldn't finish. They had about two or three breakaways or two-on-ones in that third period of, of, of Game 5 or 6 against L.A., and they couldn't bury it. Uh, a lot of turnovers. Chicago played... I mean, L.A. played really tired, so, I mean... Weighing it out, it doesn't seem like Chicago had much of a, a tougher road than what Boston did. I mean, Boston had a weak first series, but they blown through everyone. They had a lot tougher teams to face. That's why I think that Boston's going to win this series in five or six games. Say on the safe side, I'm going to say six games for Boston. Um, I just don't think that Chicago is going to be able to physically match up with them. Even though, I mean, when we look at it, Chicago and Pittsburgh are almost the same team, like overall wise, except Chicago has Corey Crawford, who's playing great goaltending right now. Um, and they have a lot of balanced snipers on that team Jonathan Taze, Patrick Kane. Uh, they got a, a very physical lineup as well. There's Those two lines are going to clash. Now, see, what I want to see from Boston, this is going to make or break it, is how Tyler Sagan's line plays. If that line can produce some points, they got it because the Lucic line is, is set. All the other lines are uh, great. Defense is solid. Tuka Rask, it's also another goalies battle. If Tuka Rask can play good, Boston's going to win for sure. 
So, with that being said, guys, um, hopefully that was a good enough explanation. It might have not made sense. Some of you guys might be tripping out on me for the choices I made, but... And then some people are like, you don't know shit about hockey, you don't know what you're talking about. From my point of view, this is what I see, alright? The, the, uh, thoughts of, the thoughts that I express do not represent the actions of the NHL. I don't even know it. But honestly, it's just my personal opinion. If you have your own personal opinion, which everyone has their own personal opinion, leave it down below. I like to see what other people think. I don't like when people start coming in, you don't know shit about hockey. Why in the first place are you coming in here starting chirping? This is a opinionated video. It's strictly my opinion on what I think about what's going to happen in the Stanley Cup. You have your own opinion, I have my own opinion. There's, I don't know how many people who watch hockey out there. Everyone's going to have an opinion. So, taking out on one person, not right, guys. But with that being said, as always, guys, Twix96, links below, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Comment, like, whatever you guys got to do to keep it real on the high deal. Tell me who you guys want to win the cup. As always, you know me, your boy Twix96. I'm out.